Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I will be talking about the Summer of 84. I'm a little late to the game on this one. This is a Shudder exclusive movie, and being as I recently got Shudder, I probably should have watched it way sooner, and I feel bad about that. But anyways, obviously the movie takes place in the summer of 1984, centering around a close-knit group of young men that are kind of on the verge of Becoming men, I suppose, uh, lots of funny sexual innuendo jokes in their little group, as as you do as a teenager, you know. Um, in the area that they live, they soon learn that the disappearances that are happening around their area, not so much like specifically where they live, they're now attributing to a serial killer and it seems as though the radius is getting smaller and smaller, which I, I found it kind of strange that their parents weren't a little more freaked out by that, being as a popular game for these kids is Manhunt, if you're not familiar with that. It's when, you know, it gets very dark outside, you go outside with flashlights, and it's kind of like a freeze tag thing, like you have to chase everyone and hide and not, not get caught. You're, you're being manhunted, essentially. That's so redundant, but there you go. Good explanation there. The um, main character, our friend here, is struggling with having suspicions that one of his neighbors, who is a police officer, could be the serial killer. He's finding a lot of clues. He's doing a lot of kind of shady, dangerous stuff to figure this out while he's also trying to console his neighbor who used to be his babysitter who he's very much crushing on and just wants to be there for her and kind of really loves her. She's going, you know, through some hard times with her parents separating and she'll be moving soon and she's having a hard time unloading on him. Of course, there's a lot of problems within the circle of friends, you know, same kind of thing, you know, one's maybe having problems with their parents, one is really being the adult in the relationship with his mom, trying to take care of her. It was really nice that it was very realistic that these weren't cookie cutter kids with no problems and they're just enjoying their summer. They're actually, you know, they don't go really in depth into their backstories or what they're dealing with, but they give you little hints that you're like, oh man, like I knew someone like that when I was growing up, or maybe that was me when I was growing up. So you definitely identified with them, which was very cool. This is spoiler free, so I will leave it on the cliffhanger of, is there really a serial killer? Could the neighbor be the serial killer? What are they going to find? What kind of danger are they going to put themselves in? to try to get to, you know, the resolution there to figure out what's happening. What did I like about this movie? I liked, as I said, that it was really, you know, it was realistic characters. Um, probably my biggest like is the way that the movie ends, which I'm not going to go into, but it was not what I expected. And I'm glad it wasn't what I expected. But the movie ended and I was kind of just like, oh oh wow like that's it stuck with me for a few hours just like this terrible feeling in my chest like not a good happy resolution that you want maybe maybe that is the kind of resolution that you want you got to watch the movie to really experience it and get a hold of you know how you take it um my dislikes i mean I, I'm a gore hound. I love gore. There wasn't a lot of gore, which this wasn't that type of movie. This was suspenseful. This was very dramatic. This was very character driven. That's, you know, if you're going into it looking for like gore and guts and everything, you're not going to get it, which is fine. I didn't get it, but I wish there would have been just like a smidge more maybe. Um, I rate this probably like a three out of five. I really liked it. I would like to watch it again. I do recommend it. I don't know that it's available anywhere else than Shudder currently. Um, I will put the director and release here in the information 
down below as usual. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? I really like this type of movie. Like, it made me think a lot of The Babysitter and uh, Stranger Things and the It remake. It was a solid cast of kids, which is really, really hard to do because sometimes they're just super annoying. But I was not annoyed. I did enjoy this a lot. Um, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Uh... I don't know if I said if you haven't already, please do subscribe, but please do that. Like the video if you did like the video. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo and reviews with the groom are available in podcast form via the Farsighted Network on iTunes. Please also check out all the other creators. They have a Facebook page, the Farsighted Network. And somewhere around here will be some suggested videos or playlists if you'd like to watch some more. There's also going to be a button to subscribe to the channel. And I think that about wraps it up. And enjoy Summer of 84. And you should probably get Shutter because there's some pretty cool stuff on there. Bye, guys.